rated R. So we only got about seven miles in total to go, which is not too bad. Thank you, Pitbull. I just saw that. Name of the mod. Might have to check that out in the future as well. Love from North Carolina. Thank you, James. Appreciate it. Shout out from San Antonio, Texas. Get back in cab for just a little bit. Oddly enough, it's not any quieter in cab here either. Looks like we're leveling out a little bit. Go ahead and take dynamic brakes off. May have to give it some power here in a second. As we work our way through the mountains here. Nice. Yeah, I'll de definitely check it out, Pitbull, in the future. going down a slight decline it's only a uh, 0.3 right now so keep an eye on my speed as we go downhill though put it on one and see if that helps out. It's actually reduced my speed a little bit. It's got a whistle board coming up as well. Yeah, me too, in white. Scenery looks really, really good. Passing by the railroad crossing. AKA what T Mac calls an intersection when he's really drunk. I did like Run 8. I played Run 8 a little bit with uh, AC6000 back in the day uh, down in Houston, but I could never really get a, a hold of the game. I love that it was multiplayer. I know Run 8 uh, 2 is out, I guess, right now, or a, a better version of it. I haven't tried out the new version, but I definitely want to in the future. Yeah, Train Sim World is definitely better, but there's not enough routes and locomotives on it right now, so it's a little depressing in that aspect. Looks like we're starting to hit a uh, pretty big hill coming up.
ETA is still about a minute off. I'm a little, little bit worried about that. <clears throat> Hopefully the ETA comes down within the minute from the arrival time. I don't want to go any higher on the dynamic, but it seems like the dynamic's not doing enough to even slow the train down whatsoever. <laughs> All right, Coaster fan, definitely down for that. Although it's it's pretty much setting up autopilot for the most part on one, at least on the planes I want to fly. I need someone to teach me how to set up the uh, the route, set up the uh, the autopilot once I take off, and then also teach me in general how to land a little bit better than what I'm doing. Unfortunate part is my ETA is actually going up, which we're already about a minute behind. So I wonder if I'm going to lose points or not. Hopefully not, but we'll see. Looks like we're starting to level off again. No, I'm not starting to stream every day, pal. I'm definitely doing Wednesdays and Fridays on most weeks. Again, I'm not doing this Friday. I'm going to do this Saturday because of my uh, my real life schedule. And then Mondays and Tuesdays are going to be big days for streaming as well. And I actually do have a stream coming up next month. I'm pretty happy about. So you guys can check that out. I'll be doing the cooking stream downtown at my new place. There we go. What up, Morboso? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Definitely appreciate you coming by. Shout out to the uh, 30 plus viewers I have on both Twitch and YouTube. Definitely appreciate appreciate each and every one of you out there is it it's kind of raining off and on here nothing too crazy though MSHP yeah I was able to land completely wasted one day on live stream that was pretty funny it was actually I think it's called drunk pilot on YouTube if you want to take a look at that under the middle-aged gamer Other than that, I don't have much flying experience, unfortunately. Alright, we're less than a mile to go. Our ETA is over a minute behind schedule. Not sure how that is the case, because we've been doing pretty close to the speed limit the entire time. Uh, we'll see what it gives us. It might deduct points and give us more points back later, but we'll find out. But it's not going to be a positive thing moving forward. And it looks like we only have 3.79 miles to go in total, which is means we're pretty close to the end. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I might be able to see. I, don't, I didn't really count the cars. You guys are more than welcome to try if you wanted to. But definitely a pretty long train. Not the longest I've ever done on Train Sim or Train Sim World. But it's definitely heavy with all the coal. Let's go ahead and pick up our speed a little bit. We're only doing about 22. We need to be doing 24 to 25. Pass over a nice little river right there.
All right, so I didn't deduct points, luckily, on that. We're 500 out of 500 right now. Just keeping an eye on my speed. Alright, a mile to go to our next via point. And we should be getting pretty close to where we're stopping. Less than three miles to go, as you can see right there. Keep in mind, we're going to do a game giveaway at twitch.tv slash middleagegamer. If we get 900 or above points on this. And this might even make it to, uh, to YouTube, depending on how good or bad I do. We'll see. Talking about my area, MSHP or what? And more both, so I would do a train by, but I'm really afraid of jacking this up. We're really close to the end. So I apologize for not doing it. Otherwise, I'd be counting the cars right now. Of course, I've been drinking too, so. <laughs> I think if I was sober, I'd probably easily do a train by right now. We do at least one or two of these moving forward. Should be all right. There we go, 750 so far, doing pretty good. Strange part about this route is if you look at my YouTube channel, this is one of my biggest videos uh, since doing my YouTube channel in general, I think it had like 80,000 views on this. The only one that was bigger that I remember was the Pacific Surfliner videos when I very, very first started playing. And those videos were absolutely horrible. I, I kind of cringe when I go back and watch my Pacific Surfliner videos, but that's how I got my first 100 followers, so I'm pretty happy about that. Let's get back in cab. Let's go see if setting up the dynamic brakes would actually slow me down enough or not. It actually is slowing me down from the looks of it. Just being in setup, pulling negative 200 amps right now, roughly. Yeah, definitely watch the speed right now, coaster fan. Does it reduce for any reason coming up? Hopefully, there's no uh, surprise or surprises ahead on that. Was it really coaster fan? That's awesome. I need to go back and play all those Pacific Surfliner routes again. We'll get them to our, our new standard. I'd love to be living in one of these houses right there. Just watch trains all day go by. Pretty similar to what I'm living in right now. I'm like about that far away from the train. Let's go ahead and take the dynamic brake off. 
So it's slowing us down quite a bit. Keep an eye on my amps. Looks like we might be going slightly uphill from the looks of it. A mile to go. I just want to get, I have Flight Simulator X, I have X-Plane 10. I want to get a shared cockpit to work. I don't care if it's the Airbus or what exactly it is. Um, as long as we can do shared cockpit coaster fan, that's what I'm looking to do. And I would even live stream that if we can get it to work. What up, Drake Wooden? How's it going? Nice to see you again. I definitely like Train Sim World more, I'm not going to lie. I see the, uh, the potential behind the scenes. Train Sim World needs a lot more routes, just like American Truck Simulator needs a lot more states, but I think it's going to come sooner than later. That's what she said, right? Shout out to the 27 viewers on Twitch and the 14 on YouTube. Definitely appreciate all you guys for watching. And let's take a look at where we got to stop at. So it's definitely coming up. So it says make sure to pull right up to the signal before stopping. All right. Definitely a heavy train, as you guys can see. Just going to kind of watch the uh, how far we got to go and where we actually need to stop at. don't want to pass the signal is my only problem. Just going to put dynamic brakes on for a little bit of extra stopping power. Yeah, let's do the Airbus coaster fan down for that. Oh, the AI train off in the distance right there. I pull a little closer. I don't want to get too close. I want to get the whole train in the uh, the braking area, but let's go ahead and break it. I think we're close enough to the signal. There we go. Hopefully, that's going to be a thousand of a thousand. We'll see what happens, though. Super heavy train. It's insane how, how hard that is to stop. Yeah, Train Sim World is by far the best for me. I have a lot of hours. I have 300 plus hours in this game. All of those hours are pretty much on YouTube as well for the most part. There we go. Now uncouple the helper locos from the rear. Which I haven't done this at all in the past that I remember recently at least. 
So, let's see if we can find the helper logos, because I don't know if they're right here. Ooh, is that... Okay. I'm guessing this. There we go. Well done, engineer. Those helper locos will be put to good use. Bam. There it is. Thousand of a thousand. Cheers, everybody. I'm going to give a big shout out to uh, Dark Jr., Amtrak America, Skatchers, and Neil for getting a thousand of a thousand along with me. Shout out to Richard Cass, Alan Porter, and BF1248 again for getting fairly close. It's another thousand of a thousand. We're going to do a game giveaway right now. See you, Rusky. Take care, man. Uh, if you want to stick around for the game giveaway, we're about to do that right now. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, we're going to go ahead and close out the video. I want to thank you for watching this. Go ahead and hit the, the big up thumbs for me if you guys could to help my video out and help me get more subscribers in the future. If you guys are watching on Twitch or YouTube on the live stream right now, we're going to go ahead and do a game giveaway and possibly do one more scenario. So let's go ahead and get into it. Don't you know? Don't you know?